Yeah, gonna be actually a pretty solid. Uh, hopefully, it should be a solid. Set we're talking about, I believe, two Philly PR players. I don't know. If, I know Boundy's PR. Yeah, Boundy is 15. Is, is he 15? I think it was 14, but I guess it doesn't matter. One of, one of the 11th or 15. Yes. Yeah, one of those. One of those. And Bonk, I don't know where he's at, but he always tends to make himself pretty high. And even if when he's not, he's always. Bonkai will be joining us. Uh, I think soon because he's going to uh, Bankai is going to Drexel, so he'll be in, ah, okay. he'll be hey. he'll be coming to Bears more. Let's go, let's go, Bankai. A little bit of a yeah. tricep representation. More Pokemon trainer. I think he still uses Pokemon trainer. Yep, yep, yeah, guys. Pokemon trainer ZSS, a um, really solid one as well. Uh, but in the meantime, we got uh, we got two more bees. One of them also, I believe, you said that Bankai is going to Drexel. We got the uh, I guess yeah, the head of Bryce. The Bryce is also there. Well, no, no, he's Bryce not at Drexel. He's at a Saint Joe's. Uh, he's a, yeah, he's at a college in the general area. Yeah, Bryce goes to Saint Joe's. Enzo, does Enzo still go to Temple? I think. Yeah, he just, um, he just got back. He's at uh, Switch Fest or ah. whatever it's called this weekend. Ooh, Bounty runs right into that. Yeah, I was just saying, yeah, Bounty of course is also is the I think it's the head of the Drexel uh, Smash Club. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, because Spiro. Spiro's graduated. He's yeah. living back in South Jersey, I believe, from what I from what I've heard. Yeah, he hasn't uh, been here in a while. The last time I saw him was the Smash. Oh no. I was just about to say Bounty ended up getting the sticky on that. Uh. He is playing uh, well. Yes. Um, I, I know he didn't want to go nest for this because he just would have gotten edge guarded. Yes. Yes, I know the matchup was bad in Smash 4. I don't know what the matchup was like here in Ultimate, but I can't imagine that with I think it's probably the same. It's honestly. probably pretty similar. And you got the you know, same character, same style. Uh, probably even worse, I would even argue, because Meta Knight has so many ways to get away from Ness is pretty much all of his kill moves. Uh, but Snake, a uh, bit of a different uh, animal. Uh, he just throws stuff and he hits you and then you die. Uh, yeah. That's pretty much what you find with Snake. Uh, he's, he's doing good. Because you have to kind of play like this versus uh, Meta Knight. Yeah, he's, got, he's playing bad. He's playing Camby, playing the projectiles. I can imagine that Bonk enjoys uh, seeing this. Uh, the Bounty is playing pretty much the way that you need to uh, play against any of these type of smaller characters. You know, pretty much, ooh, good roll with F Smash right there. I would say in this situation, Bounty, just don't even, like, not saying you don't have to approach, but, like, with the lead which you, that he had, he didn't have to commit so much with certain things. That he was yeah, doing. yeah, I did notice. He was kind of getting there. Maybe that some of that's just because of the pressure game that Bonk was uh, putting on. Oh, there's the sticky right there. He's got to be careful. Ends up uh, shielding the detonation. The bounty's still looking. Kicking the grenade. Yeah, they're still looking extremely solid. Meta Knight is not a character that's going to kill particularly early, so unless they get something really, really ridiculous. Yeah, that I don't bounty know. can't pull a grenade on. Yeah, I don't know how um, heavy Snake is in this game. I know in Brawl, he could live up to like. 200 some percent, but a lot of characters in this game have been living to that percent. Yeah, well, like, Snake even in particular, I believe he's a pretty heavy guy even with right. that. Um, that being said, I still think even at this percent, Meta Knight's F-Smash is pretty powerful. She oh yeah. him at ledge, that could be a stock. It, it, it will kill right now. Um, ooh, up tilt. Yep, that'll do it. That up tilt will kill Meta Knight probably at like 90. Yeah, so. he is, um, Meta Knight is I think if I'm correct, Meta Knight is like a light fast faller. So like, and um, like Smash Four, like Mario would just combo him for free. Yeah, well, he was, if I recall, he was in the same weight class I think as Ness in terms of the way how they would end up uh, falling. And the only reason I know that is always the, the Pikachu combos would, in Smash Four would work on both characters the exact same way. Right. Um, I don't know. I would think it's probably a similar uh, a similar thing here in uh, in Ultimate. But still, he is not a uh, he's not a heavy character, and he's going to die really early to the Shank shenanigans. Yeah. Uh, so looks like. But he did good um, reading um, um, Bonk's movement and just upfelting him for it. Yeah. So glad to see the snake still, because uh, I think no, not I think I know Ness is his best character. But I'm yes. glad the snake is uh, doing something. Yes, yes, and he does. You know, he does like using the snake. I think. Um, you know, I don't know how too often he's able to bring him out, but there definitely are more than a few matches where he simply just says, "I do not like having the nest," and it definitely helps him a bit as a player because then when he runs into any of those characters that just crush his nest, he just says, "I don't have to. Uh, I don't have to do this." Right. Um, unless it's Palu, then he just loses. Uh, uh, good job yeah, on the right there. Covering a lot. 
But everything he did, Nikita up smash and then run up up tilt. Yeah, really, really solid play by him from Bounty. And it's kind of to your point, you don't really normally think of the Snake when you think of him. But he has been using this character since probably day one in Ultimate. And uh, yeah, he's pretty solid. Maybe it it's not, you know, maybe it's not Sabo's, uh, you know, Sabo's Snake or maybe some of the other Snakes that you're seeing in Jersey. Uh, but it still is incredibly, uh, incredibly powerful. And there's a reason why he is a Fjord uh, player out here. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, down smash, not a... Uh, the down smash, not taking that. Not, not a very strong move. You know, I know Bong does it just to kind of get away because it's very fast, but... Yes. And that... Oh, I was just about to say, I wasn't sure if that was going to kill, but it does not. But definitely, you're talking about... Uh, oh, no, that should be an uphill. Yep. Yeah, Bong come. Not playing very well. I, I mean, you know, it happens. You know? It does. Oh no! Don't do that. Okay. That would have been kind of lame. That would have been probably. The, yeah, that's like the worst ending. Good tech there from Murph Boundy. And now he's just looking just really sound. Looks like Bonk is just having a ton of trouble getting in, on and getting any of those hits. I think, as you said, like Medani does not have a ton of like kill options. And at 158, he really has to rely on getting, you know, some sort of. Uh, out of shield or getting one of those up B kills or something raw out of nowhere. He ends up getting it, but still not a uh, not a great situation that he's in. Uh, oh, 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 grenade! The grenade. <laughs> grenade! Oh my gosh, there's the sticky. Not oh wow, he kill. lives. No, like Bonk. Oh, that's oh, yeah, that'll do it. oh my gosh. Yeah, Bonk. <laughs> Just needed a couple hits and he could have brought it back. But yeah, well he had he had that combo, but then Bounty pulled the grenade. That's yeah. just that's just unfortunate snake stuff. He had like that Smashville thing. It'd be like that. It'd be like It'd that be like sometimes. That. Yeah, good games to Bounty. I gotta go play, but uh, I'll probably come back on. Later. All right, all right, all right.